Yang Chuan said, Test me, O God, and know my thoughts. See that my path is not wicked, and lead me in the way everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And today, our mass intention is for Guadalupe, Apollonia, Adelina, and Glorious Luma and family. And we also offer this mass for incense giving for Hermenia Slogan, Sakalan, and we pray also for the repose of the soul of D. Wayne Deerstein. Let us come before the Lord and acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servant to yourself that are caught up in the fire of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, course in the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, its shoes no distress, but still bears fruit more tortuous than all else in the human heart, beyond remedy, who can stand it? I, the Lord, alone prove the mind and taste the heart to reward everyone according his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditate on his law day and night. 
He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade, whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so, the wicked not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who, who, who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was some rich man who dressed in purple garment and fine linens and dyed sumptuously each day. And laying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, and who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs, even used to come to lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the nether world, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes, saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his side. He cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Said Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to the place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. And we are quite familiar with uh, today's gospel. And Jesus tells this uh, parable of rich men and a poor Lazarus. And there are three points I want to make today. The uh, first is that uh, we know um, this rich man uh, who had no name really did not uh, um, commit crime or anything against the poor Lazarus. He's just indifferent. Uh, he did not see the needs of the poor Lazarus, and probably he passed by him every day, but he neglected and he disregarded him, and he didn't see the dignity of Lazarus laying at the door and the poor and covered with sores. Um, he 
was indifferent, only because of that. Then, when the time comes, both of them died, and Lazarus was to enjoy uh, the peace and enjoy good life in bosom of Abraham. However, this rich man died, and he is enjoying uh, his uh, suffering from torment. So we see, and uh, in this life, if we do really make uh, do not reach out to those in need, then in the next life our roles are re reversed, and in this life the rich man enjoyed himself, and uh, he did not uh, take care of the poor Lazarus. But then in next life, he suffers. And that's the first lesson. And we have to really um, be passionate and be compassionate to those people who are suffering. And take the initiative to reach out. And if we are indifferent, then we know in the next life, uh, probably we will um, suffer from torment. That's the first lesson that Jesus wants to remind on his listeners and remind each of us that we shall always be compassionate and reach out to those who are in need. And second is there's no reversal of the reverse in the next life. This is the only time we can do it. Uh, it's not like, oh, uh, when we come to the next life, uh, we can regret and we can do it again. And uh, uh, this is the only chance that God gives it to us. So while we are on earth, let us uh, really be imitators of Jesus Christ and to reach those uh, people in need. Then uh, the finally, uh, we hear the rich man says, I have five brothers. Uh, could you send Lazarus to go and remind them so that when Lazarus come back to life, they will listen to him. But Jesus, uh, Jesus in the parable says, uh, and uh, Abraham said to the rich man, uh, they already have Moses and prophet. If they listen, and they will listen to them. Uh, if they do not listen, even miracle happens, even Lazarus come to back to life, they will not listen. So that means we have enough voices, we have enough reminders that uh, what we should do uh, in this world. So even miracle happened that we probably may never uh, have make a conversion in our heart because uh, we had enough uh, voices and enough love that God has already put uh, into the world to re remind us what to do. So this is uh, another reminder in this uh, Latin season, uh, especially God call us and to reach out to those uh, people who are poor. And uh, there are plenty of opportunity to do God's work in this world. And just uh, in our daily life, to reach out to those uh, who are lonely, and to reach out to those uh, who are laying on the street, uh, homeless, you lay, we make many excuses not to take care of them. Probably just like uh, the rich man, he made uh, excuses for himself, like not taking care of Lazarus, and we're doing the same. So let us uh, just uh, look at uh, how the poor condition that people live in, and no matter in what condition, uh, some are mentally ill, some poor without money, uh, some homeless. So let us uh, be imitator of Jesus Christ to reach out to those in need, and so in the next life, uh, God will re reward us, and we can enjoy the embracement of our loving Father in heaven. Let us pray at this Mass for all 
in our world who suffer from famine or poverty, especially those who suffer through the greed of others. We pray for those who are hungry, bless the work of those working for them, help us to be grateful for what we eat and generous in sharing our resources. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are homeless, cold, in want of shelter, we pray that the efforts to house them may be blessed with the success. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are cold to the wants and needs of our brothers and sisters, forgive us. We pray to the Lord. For all who are working in the cause of justice and development of the peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that many young people may respond to the call to work for the poor and homeless in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord uh, we pray for all the sick, all the suffering in this pandemic, and uh, may God bring them to health, and also we pray for the end of the, this uh, crisis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord uh, we pray for all our beloved deceased, and today we especially pray for Guadalupe, Apollonia, Adelina, and Glorious Luma and the family. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord uh, we pray for uh, Hermenia Zaglong and in her giving of her, uh, prayers for her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray for repose of soul of Dean Wayne, dear Sting. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear now, in the silence of our heart, we offer our own personal prayers. Grace and loving God, we offer our prayers to you, and may you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Lord, blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, name for our good, 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 good of the Holy, Holy Church. Church. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O oh Lord, sanctify our observance that what Latin discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The 
the Lord. Be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and the purifying of their hearts, that are freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that are eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, 
gave us a day of deliverance. Then forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for, for the kingdom, kingdom and power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this sacrifice, our Lord, remain active in its effect and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your hands and pray for God's blessing. Abide with your servant, O Lord, who implore the help of your grace, that they may receive, ye, receive from you the support and guidance of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you all for coming to Mass. Have a blessed day.